Good morning, distinguished participants. Let me begin by congratulating Professor Vanicha and her able team for organizing this important conference and for bringing together so many world-renowned experts to discuss and share experiences related to primary healthcare professionals for future pandemics. WHO is happy to support this initiative as I see it as an important capacity building activity for our member states. Primary health care is now seen as the backbone to the delivery of quality health care to the people where they need it and with people's full involvement. In addition, PHC strategy is considered the most important way to achieve the health-related sustainable development goals. But we have a long way to go in this important area of health system, namely in ensuring an agile, fit-for-purpose health workforce to deliver healthcare services of the future to the people. At present, the average density of doctors, nurses and midwives stands at 28.5 per 10,000 population in our region, representing a 30% increase from that of 2014 level. While we have surpassed the 2006 World Health Report threshold of 22.8 doctors, nurses and midwives per 10,000 population, only three countries at present exceed the 2016 threshold of 44.5 doctors, nurses and midwives. However, I am encouraged by the fact that countries are making visible progress to address the shortfalls in health workforce. For example, between 2010 and 2020, Bangladesh almost doubled the number of medical colleges from 62 in 2010 to 113 in 2020 and quadrupling the number of nursing and midwifery colleges and institutions from 87 in 2010 to 397 in 2020. Likewise, India saw the establishment of 294 medical colleges since 2014, doubling the MBBS undergraduate seats to a total capacity today of over 100,000 seats. And Maldives opened its School of Medicines at the Maldives Medical University in 2018. And this year, Bhutan started its MBBS program at the Kesar Gyalpo University of Medical Sciences. While preparing for future pandemics is important and therefore strengthening the skills and knowledge of health workers are necessary within the broader context of a resilient health system, primary health care is an integrated component of a connected system of health infrastructure, services and health workforce that must work seamlessly to provide quality and appropriate services at the primary level while ensuring that the system of passage of patients from one level to the next is timely and responsive. Such requirements call for skilling health workers with multiple skills, besides only technical and medical skills and knowledge. I am glad that this conference will delve into inter alia preventive and interprofessional education for future pandemics, knowledge translation and sharing experiences of good practices of primary health professionals, especially of experiences during the COVID-19 pandemic period. Distinguished participants, it goes without saying that we need many players to deliver on such an enormous task. I am very happy to see GHPEC strengthening partnership by bringing together diverse operational partners to this platform. The Global Health Cluster Partnership is an important group that supports countries in fragile and conflict settings 
A fine example of this is the partnership in the support provided by health cluster partners during the COVID-19 pandemic in Cox Bazar in Bangladesh. With this, I wish this conference all success and I look forward to the outcome of this important meeting. Thank you.